Watch this, you're gonna you're gonna freak out. Yeah, but he's blind in one eye. They're both still oh, there. Yeah. Watching for her. Where's my little wrenchy wrench? Is That's it in not there? true. I had to feel it from the passenger seat to make sure it's totally fixed. <laughs> oh, wait. The saga continues. continues. Part two. <laughs> Nothing's easy. If not. Are we so... just this will just follow right up? Yeah, we're we just it. we're just catching up, you know. It's three actually, days later. <laughs> it's actually three days later. <laughs> This is, this is real life stuff right here. Yeah, Chad's really patient. He's not in any hurry. We're more in a hurry than he is. So we got some time. We're getting it done, hopefully, this time. So in our, in our last video, um, I well, at the beginning, we took it out. We realized the rear U joint was just toast. The front one was still in the yoke. It felt okay. But while I was at it, I went and got two matching U joints. Okay? Two matching U joints. Well, there's really no one to blame, I guess, except maybe the guy who made the drive shaft. <laughs> but I didn't know it. And when we came home, eh. So I had to go back and get the other U joint. And uh, she's been at work. We had a telephone pole fall in our campground. I'll film some of that because that's going to be some big fix I'm getting ready to do. Yeah. That'll be a little bit outside the automotive world, <laughs> but it shows you what we do around here. So we got it. We're back. Yes. I got the I got the slip yoke done. I said, "Don't start filming until I know that that's going to work." Because I can't get <laughs> up inside twice. So all I got to do is put a C clip back in, uh, put it in, give it a little grease, and we're going to take it for a quick drive. See if that's what the problem was. Yeah. Hopefully, that's all it was. Yeah, it's been a week. And yeah. So if it's more than that, then my bad. But Dad said he didn't care. Dad's probably just fell asleep. Yeah, I mean, I went in my first thing she said was, "I like to drive out every day." Yeah, I would. I'd drive it every day. I love it. Okay, are you putting it in or am I? I mean, I'm here to help you. So sure, whatever you want. She's a little tight. That's where I put it in there. It's just pushed over one. Yeah, let me give her a love pat and it'll loosen up. Get off the rag. Yep. So, I'm telling her, and if you don't know, I'm telling you. When we slide this in, we don't want to knock these caps off. And when they're freshly new, they're, they're, they grease kind of holds the suction on there. But, I'll slide it in. You got to make that noise every time you do anything. Okay. This truck has this cross member with the trailer arms, guys. You got to put that up in there like that. <coughs> And then pull it back. Okay, set the camera down. Get your U bolts down there. I'm gonna hold it so it don't because the piss fall have knocked your god dang brains clean out. Gosh darn. The dick for 2014. My god on hand and core the other day for cursing and she, I went back. She looked. said gosh. I yeah. Yeah, he gave him the Ephesians. Gave him the Ezekiel's. Can't be used in the Lord's name in vain. Well, I didn't know gosh was the Lord, so probably if you're Sometimes watching. Sometimes you got to move it back a little bit to get them in. Huh, huh. Hold on. There's son. One of them. There's son B. Where are you going? Did, how much did you lift? Did we lock it? No. We'll see that on camera. See me kids around, keep the door locked. Yeah, we could see it from here. Yeah, I wish we was at Russ Mania right me now. Me too. Had I known that I wasn't gonna make no money this weekend at work, we would be. We'd have loaded up the old van. It was a waste of my time to go to work last night or today. We're gonna need go get us uh, that hammer laying on the ground over here. Old claw hammer. 
The U bolts are spread just a touch. They came out real easy. They ain't going in as easy. Ridiculous. Is that, a, is that one? I guess. No. Zeke? He's equal. Not lose equal. You got that. The struggle clean out. <laughs> All right, put your nuts on. We've been getting a lot of feedback about being inspirational to people. And that's pretty awesome. That's kind of all we really wanted when we started because we know there's a lot of talented people out there. But maybe just don't tap into it. Just got kind of sitting on your butt too much. You got kids in college and didn't want to spend that money. And now it's over with. Now you can do something. So we get a lot of people that build stuff and come to our show and bought wheels just for our show and all that stuff. So that's real good. And I get messages about two or three a week about people who want to start a YouTube channel. And I can try to give you the best advice I can because we're not successful as we feel. We're not as successful as some channels are, but we feel like we'll get there someday. So I do have solid advice for people, but the number one thing is you need to be filming and you need a place to store it. You need storage space until you get comfortable editing and you need to be filming. You don't need to be thinking about it. You need to be doing it, don't they? Yeah, for sure. If you use your own phone, you're going to run out of storage because your music and your emails and everything. So do you go buy a computer? You maybe already got one, but you can't film with a computer. But you can film with a phone. And you can edit with a phone. Yeah, so a phone is your best bang for your buck. And you can pay for cloud storage, so. And I we just use iPhones because that's what we had, but there's all kinds of AT&T and all those T-Mobiles and everything. Bad Chad and them film with Samsung or something because she said it's got better cameras, so. But it all comes down to filming and getting comfortable on film. That's it. That's the thing. You got to be likable or no one's going to watch you. Nobody likes me. They're only watching for her. Where's my little wrenchy wrench? Is That's it in not there? true. <laughs> They're definitely watching for you. I'm just here to support and entertain. You get them on there and I'll, I'll get the final. I'll give you a final torque. And... Oh, you, yeah. I do it in sweet hand wipes. So this is the Tubbo Cows right here. It's way better. Purchased at any of your local stores. Tubba towels, reach out. Reach out, Tubba yeah, towels. I'm telling you. We do love the Tubba towels. I'm telling you what. Tubba towels right here. They will clean that. I mean, to where they you do. could you could eat a tuna fish sandwich on white with Tubba towels. And, you know, I'm going to show you, look, I mean, they bring them, well, I ain't hit that palm yet. Watch, look at that palm. I'll, I'll get that clean, no problem, with an old one. Watch this, you're going to you're gonna freak out over this tub of towels cleaning advertisement. Freak out. Look at that, look. Whoa. It did, let's find a real dirty spot. These will even clean Corey Wheat, he just don't know it yet. Cause he's trying others. He's got his own over there. I'm gonna send him some tub of towels and I'm gonna put peace and grease on there. <laughs> our with, stickers. Yeah. Rebrand our own tub of towels. And then when they're really dirty, I'll use that dirty one to clean the intake on an old motor. Get the real greasy stuff out. Cause even though it's too dirty to clean your hand anymore, it's clean enough to get a big greasy stain out of something. That's your tip of the day with Tim and his tub of towels. What happened? It broke loose. Tom. She got something in her eye. No, I didn't. <laughs> my nut went rolling, babe. Today's brought to you by Tub of Towel. <laughs> Tell you what, what did work pretty good. What? Is that sweet patina that spray you're supposed to use on your car? The cleaner? Right on your hands. And I don't know if they recommend that or not. <laughs> But I did it and it worked good. That cleaner is good stuff. Ah, Actually, out over here. What happened? 
got stubbed up, stubbed, stubbed you're up. You're stubbed. If you stub anymore, the way you're walking, you'll be golden. I'm just now getting better. Right. I can dig with it. I can walk it more aggressively. <laughs> I was hurting. I need to go get that grease gun. That, that for my $300 jack I lost. It's been around for 20 years. I hope that didn't really happen. Even if the handle's gone, you can't just get another handle. Oh, I'll the handle's not gone. I'm going to be really good at stuff like this because it's like the only thing I ever get to do. So, lesson of the day. So, I had this valve cover. This is off of 40 Chevy straight six. And I wanted to put it on top of a Cummins. I've seen somebody else do that. It's going to take a little work to chop it up. But it don't say anything on it. And I didn't really realize that. And then we were down at Beatersville. And I was walking by it. And I seen another valve cover, and I said, man, I got one just like that at home. I'm going to make it fit the Cummins. And then a few minutes later, Corey called me, and he said, that valve cover's down here. Like, it was top secret. And on the way back, I walked by, and it was only $10. But look, it says GMC on it That's right awesome. here. So I'm on a, I'm on a, there's really no patina left. It got baked off. But we're going to clean that up and script that GMC a little bit and put mm -hmm. that on top of the Cummins. In the, in, in the ramp truck. And now I got two of them. So we'll do it to each. You want to tighten me up a little? Yeah, I got a longer one I'll use. Okay. I bet I don't even need to do nothing. I don't know. You might. Good. I mean, if you go too much, you'll just break them all. Oh, well, I mean, I wasn't trying to do that. You didn't? I wasn't you trying to wrench, break them all. Fit. I don't know. Click, click. That's my torque wrench. Click. Oh, that one was a, that one was good. You got that one. That's your. That's the one you broke Robin's arm with. Arm wrestling <laughs> must have been. No. I need to start telling that story different. I mean, I'm not gonna claim that you beat. All right. Now. All we gotta do is make sure we move that one tire and that ladder. Get out from under it. And get this. All get right. The stuff down. We're gonna try to. Get it down and take it for a little drive and see if that's what the problem was. We're gonna find out. I got two inch lowering springs in this truck. And if you pay it a brand new from the eight lug thug from the airbag, I didn't use them. nicest seat I've sat in and I don't know how long so there's that. that first gear? No way. That going I was in third gear man it's way better already. Yeah. I think that was the only thing wrong with it. That'd be good luck Chad. Only cost you three thousand. <laughs> Simple job it was just chasing parts. And if I'd have went right back immediately, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. If, we, if he hadn't been hungry, he would have gone right back. But it was it was starvation time, so we had to get something to eat. I think I lost my good floor jack. Yeah. He took the eight lug thug to go get the bin checked today because it was an out-of-state tag or out-of-state registration. They're both still oh, there. Oh, left the jack ah! on the trail. Still there. <laughs> There's a vortex on the flatbed. Oh, you're so lucky. Stuff stays there. One time I had a flatbed and it rode real rough, and there was a model car tire that sat on there that was like a, a little come off a four wheel drive model. And every time I'd go somewhere, somebody'd pick that up and get I said, No, don't touch that. Don't touch it. It'll stay right there. And no matter what, it stayed right there. Dude, the, the handle is out of the jack. How did it stay on the flatbed? This he just needs to, we just need to end up with this. I love this truck, Chad. You're, I don't know, dude. I need it. <laughs> I really need it. I love it. Yeah. She thinks I was filming her. 
See what I was like? <laughs> see, now she's going down. <laughs> Our trouble tenant just got caught. She got our caught trouble, being yeah, filmed. Our trouble tenant thought we was just filming her when we rolled by. F you, man. Yeah, I'm surprised she didn't give us the finger. I meant to, uh, one thing I meant to do when I got in a hurry and lowered it down was I was going to take a piece of uh, TIG welding wire and make me a little dial indicator. We'll, we'll still do that before he comes against it. But we. We want to make sure that God, that's way better. First gear. Second gear. Third gear. It's tight. Man, I, I already fish. stopped. I mean. I didn't feel nothing. There's nothing wrong in the might just be the motor rumbling. I mean, it is also a 60s truck. <laughs> but yeah, but the last time, I, when you let off right there, it would go. <laughs> yeah. Like, don't you love it when people make car sounds to you? Yeah, I like, I love, my dad used to make me repeat them. Like, he would do, he'd be like, what did it do? And knowingly, because I sounded stupid, he'd be making me repeat it. You want to drive it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll, it, we'll drive it. You drive it back. It's just four speed right here. Yeah. If you drive it bad, we won't show that. <laughs> now, if we was fully prepared to take the bell housing off and look for gremlins, but. When you find an issue that looks like it could be the issue, you should always fix that first before you go digging in deep because... Usually when, you, when your U-joint wears out, those needle bearings will wear out and they'll turn the du like, to dust. This, there was not even any dust in there, so it had went through its phases of life. Yeah. And uh, drive shaft may be out of balance, but I, I can't fix that. You take half the day, but they would want to make, you make new you one. a new one so yeah. we'll talk to chad first and see what he wants to do but i mean it's ready to cruise in or sell yeah. it us sell us heck yeah i mean I've, I've never drove it before and i got two hands on the wheel i love it so nice on the inside i love the color of the interior, the seat, seat's nice and comfy. I had to feel it from the passenger seat to make sure it's totally fixed. <laughs> I said, do you want to drive? She said, yeah. <laughs> Who don't want to drive a four-speed Chevy no around? Doubt. First time she ever drove it, getting, getting used to it. It's good. It feels like the army truck. <laughs> I think it's fixed. I think so too. He said the wiring's bad. He may want it rewired, so we'll talk about that. What do you think's wrong with the wiring? He says the gauges don't work and stuff, oh. but I could probably fix that. I know I could fix that. You're all right. I don't know how big the curbs are or the brakes. You're going to be stopping up here. I don't know. Go up to third. And then just, but you don't really need to downshift to slow down all the time when you're just cruising. When I was a kid, I had a little S10, you used every gear, you slowed down, you downshifted, but some of this older stuff, you gotta ask yourself, is a pair of front pads worth all the wear and tear? But I still do it, just hang it right. Go up and first, first it's, wait till these cars go by. I am. I'm gonna film her. Wait, listen. Ship. Was that first? Yeah. You had me in third last night. She got, she put it third. I can't. There's one coming. I think I She'll edit this out of if she does it wrong. I don't know why you. Easy. Oh, see, I'm not. I'm in reverse. You told me. You're the worst. No, you went to four. Did I? I don't yeah, know. Straight back. Straight oh back. God. She's going. You went. That's third. She'll edit that out. Oh, She's 
just going to show us where we're smiling and driving. Oh, my God. She didn't grind it, though. Fourth gear. I also it's straight, to, first, second, well, and then over. Well, I was to put it in reverse. I just noticed that first gear, yeah, like, yeah, it was to, reverse. <laughs> if she breaks it, you might have to buy it. Look at that, having a party. Yeah. Pull in there. What day is it? Pull in Saturday. there. Saturday. You know, it feels like every day feels like a Wednesday to us. All right, we're just going to cruise it on home, and we'll do a little recap when we get there. But it feels way better than it did. All right, we just got back. <laughs> Seems to be fixed to me. She, I drove it. She drove it. There's nothing crazy. I felt like it drove fine. I'm driving anywhere. Yeah. And, so uh, hopefully that's all it was, and we got it back to Chad as quickly as possible, despite the parts issues. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't really want to do. You would never want to do more than you have to. Right. And uh, clutch, clutch feels good to me. So uh, that's going to end on that little, yeah. she helped me out. See anyone, <laughs> it was a pretty simple job. Uh, I put the U-joints in and she sat there and watched. So uh, so if I ever have to do it, I can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you watch somebody do something and you pay attention, that will pay off someday. Yeah. You'll be somewhere and you'll remember I've that. I've learned a lot just by being in the barn. So, you know, it's good. Yeah, if she's ever out on a girl's night out and the U-joint flings out, she can at least get her half-inch wrench out of her pocket and get to <laughs> get started. But that's going to do it for fixing the uh, the rubber duck trucking. I didn't know what it was, but uh, apparently rubber duck trucking from the movie Convoy. Now, I'm going to sound stupid because I've seen the movie Convoy and I've seen him driving a semi the whole time, a, a black Mac with a rubber duck. But where's the truck located at? I don't know, but that's what that means. Yep. Okay. There's son B. <laughs> He's six foot three too. Been working out. Bench is two eighty. Six three power lifter. We have so many sons. They're just everywhere all the time now. Yep. All right. Well, it's going to rain here a little bit. We're going to go do something else real quick. Yep. Bye. See you guys later. Is it alive? Yeah, but he's blind in one eye. He, this is my diagnosis. This is a great snapping turtle it. that just comes out of the pond randomly. But, but listen, if you so, we got the um, title transferred to an Ohio title today on the A Lug Thug, and it's on the trailer. So, we want to get some rollies for you guys while it's loaded up. We're going to get tags next week because the line was too long. So, it's going to be on the road before you know it.
back riding. Oh. Oh, man. I know. everybody thanks for watching if you made it this far like subscribe and share but uh that was a fun little video just doing what we do around here on a normal basis chad's been doing some paint for us he's going to do more painting for us and we trust him so he trusts us to work on his truck and that that thing had a demon in it like uh like i, I mean that's just that's a bad word but it it, it had issues and we're not done yet we got it done. And, yeah, so it, you know, he thought it was transmission. Turns out it was uh, the U-joint. So we fixed that before we dug any transmission, which is what you always want to do. And we're glad we did because that fixed the problem. But he's got some wiring issues. So you're going to see some more of us working on Chad's truck uh, fixing the wiring. Yeah, so. he's uh, supposed to be wi ordering a wiring harness to have sent here. And... Uh, when I get it back on the lift, I'm going to do a little uh, hillbilly dial indicator engineering on that drive shaft uh, because I kind of just put it in there. We took it for a drive. I wanted to see how if it's out of balance or what. Instead of just saying, here you go, it's fixed. And three drives later, it throw the rear U-joint out. But we know that it wasn't in the clutch and we didn't need to tear into it. Right. It uh, drove great. Yeah. So then we got the trailer out and did a little test fitting. We, we've used the trailer around here and stuff, but we we really don't know what of our stuff will fit it's on it comfortably. Together. We've hauled some cars home with it and stuff, but when we go to shows, we want to take what we can and see what will fit. And it's fun just to get out and do some towing and stuff. And uh, my dad, my dad, he feels real great because his car's, he, he's, <laughs> when do I get to see it? You own it, so you can see it any day, but... Uh, he was excited to have his car part of that. Yes. And uh, what else? Did, what else did we uh, got? There was a little trick riding on there. That was about it. So yeah. We got just... a we got a lot coming up for you. We're going to Power Tour Monday, um, and then we've got the Freedom Truck Fest uh, Saturday, and then we're gonna try to hit a show on Father's we're Day. We're trying to hit a Father's Day show, so uh, we'll have our regular videos for you next week, and we're gonna be on the road doing some some yeah, stuff. Yeah, we had. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you about Power Tour. We was real gung-ho about it. And in a perfect... And we still are going. Yes. But uh, I'm not sure we're going to hit every mile and do every cruise and hit right. everything. But we will be there. We'll be in our van. Quit texting me while I'm filming, which is all the time. And uh, But anyways, uh, it's probably my son. So we don't have air conditioning in the van. Right. And we're going to, we'll run it. Uh, We've got the kids. That's the thing. We, if it were the two of us and we didn't have any other obligations, it would be a whole different story. We do what we had to do to survive. But, I think we'll be fine unless we get in like real bad traffic that just sits. Yeah. So we're just playing it by ear, but we know for sure we'll be there Monday and Tuesday. For sure. And, and more. 
Yeah. It's closer in the week. It's closer to us. So right. if you're not completely burnt out or everything's going good, we, we're having the time of our lives. We've never been. So we just wanted to go and uh, take the boys. We, we said it was going to be something cheap we was going to go do, but there's no such thing. I eat a lot of corn dogs. Yeah. If I don't get a corn dog on power tour, I, it'll probably be my last one. Oh, my God. I gotta have, so I like fast. a good hand-battered corn dog, man. Like I like to get one with ketchup and eat it. And then I like to come back a little while later and get one with mustard. That way you ain't bad on it. You get it all over you and all that. We finally got a hot day, so Sammy's out here hollering at me, ready to go get in the pool. So, so our pool is right behind the phone. Yeah. And right beside the shop. You go in, that's why the thing phone's dang, and it's hooked to our radio. <laughs> when we get hot, we go out there. Yeah. So if I don't get this done, it's because I was swimming. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching so much. We appreciate your support, and keep those comments coming. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, we are doing a giveaway. Yeah. You don't have to buy anything. No. Nope, you nope. just have to subscribe to our channel. We can see who our subscribers are. So, between now and October 31st, subscribe to our channel. Tell your friends to subscribe to our channel. And you could be a winner of... 12,000 pound Badlands winch from Harbor Freight. Everybody runs them. They're pretty good winches. They're not uh, extremely expensive. So that makes them very well liked. And uh, I'm going to go, I got to buy like four. So we're going to buy, we're, we're going to put one on our trailer. We're going to put two on our amp truck. And I'm going to buy a fourth one. And we're going to give it away. Yep. We're going to, we, we can see who's subscribed. And yes. so if you're lying, we know it. <laughs> and and some of you who watch this, make sure you are still subscribed. Because yeah. I've had several people tell me that they have been unsubscribed from us. And. Unbeknownst to them. We also see in our analytics, which I just found recently, that it shows you how many of your viewers are subscribers versus how many of your viewers are non-subscribers. Yeah. 64% of you that are watching our channel are not subscribed. So the majority of you guys that are watching what we're doing are not even subscribed. It helps us. We so don't get paid. that button. We don't get paid for subscribers. No. And we don't get paid much at all. But, but it the helps more subscribers... The more subscribers, is shown as momentum. Right. And the headquarters rewards momentum. And we're working for headquarters. Yep. And uh, I, I get messages all the time of people wanting to reach out and start and do this kind of stuff. Do it. Start doing it. You should have already been doing it. And just stay consistent. And uh, stay subscribed. The main yep. thing is stay subscribed to us. And then we will... We will uh, on October 31st, we'll stop it, and then we'll figure out a way to take All those 100,000 names and put them in a jumble, and it'll be random. We may have to write them all out on pieces of paper. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's not what we're going to do. So we, and we, this is something we'll keep doing until we get big enough to where we can give away something. We, I would like to build something, me and her together, just Chevy pickups or whatever, and give away someday. By um, this, you do not have to purchase anything. Just oh, show us your support by hitting that subscribe hit button, button and you could win a winch. I yep. mean, like, how hard is that? It's free. It's free to do yep. it for you. So if you're close by, we'll go get the winch, or I'll, I'll give you a brand new one. If you're not close by, we'll just give you a gift card, and you can go and get whatever you want. Yep, that's true, too. So No purchase necessary. $300 value, that's free. It. That's it. So, so right now, you got a 1 in 80, 268 chances of winning yeah and that's gonna go up it is <laughs> but still it's all about just just rewarding somebody just say here you go thanks for your support and, uh, thanks for watching yeah we'll see you guys on the next one thanks so much bye